it's impossible to deny that IDF airstrikes do hurt Palestinian civilians in Gaza. Doesn't all that suffering constitute a war crime? There are no reliable reports that the Israel Defense Forces have intentionally targeted civilians. So no, the deaths of civilians in Gaza, while tragic and painful beyond words, aren't a war crime on Israel's part. For civilian deaths to be a war crime, those deaths would have to be targeted and intentional. What's next? Does proportionality, or lack thereof, matter when it comes to the laws of war? What proportionality says is when you're picking a military target, the anticipated civilian damage should be somewhat proportionate to the military advantage. Saving millions of lives from terrorists who would brutally end those lives is what you would call an overwhelmingly necessary and just military objective. Last one, does this siege count as a war crime? Of course, siege law does have humanitarian aspects, but that's if and only if they can be reliably delivered without diversion to the enemy. So no, Israel doesn't commit war crimes.